Welcome to the BioWhisper channel. Our topic today is on a perspective overview of the hydrocolloids in food biotechnology and to provide a discussion on how it works. If you are new here, we are a group of retired professors sharing bite-sized videos in life sciences. Let's dive into the topic for today. Hydrocolloids are hydrophilic molecules that have a high molecular weight. Hydrocolloids are a heterogeneous group of long-chain polymers, polysaccharides, and proteins, characterized by their property of forming viscous dispersions and or gels when dispersed in water. They are used as functional ingredients in food formulation for increasing food consistency, improving gelling effect, and controlling the microstructure, texture, flavor, and shelf life. As an important food additive, Hydrocolloids are finding increasing applications in several food products as thickening and gelling agents. For years, hydrocolloids are widely used in many food formulations to improve quality, attributes, and shelf life. The two main uses are as thickening and gelling agents. As thickening agents, they find uses in soups, gravies, salad dressings, sauces and toppings while as gelling agents. They are extensively used in products like jam, jelly, marmalade, restructured foods and low sugar calorie gels. The role of specific hydrocolloids for thickening and for gel formation are relevant towards pinpointing specific applications in food formulations and for product development. Consequently, the application of a hydrocolloid depends on the knowledge and Understanding of the process of thickening which is an important role of any hydrocolloid. Growing consumption of bread and confectionery products in Europe has resulted in increased use of food hydrocolloids, which provides pastries and tarts a glittering appearance and acts as a glue to preserve a coating on a candy's surface. It is expected that sales are expected to burgeon over the upcoming decade. Thus far, Hydrocolloids find extensive use are thickening and gelling. Hydrocolloids disperse in water to give a thickening or viscosity producing effect. This water thickening property is common to all hydrocolloids and is the prime reason for their overall use. According to one of the market industry reports, the hydrocolloid market is expected to grow at a promising 4.5% car G within the next decade. The use of hydrocolloids in foods is their ability to modify the rheology of food system. This includes two basic properties of food system namely, flow behavior, viscosity, and mechanical solid property, texture. The modification of texture and or viscosity of food system helps to modify its sensory properties, and hence, hydrocolloids are used as important food additives to perform specific purposes. It is obvious that several hydrocolloids belong to the category of permitted food additive in many countries throughout the world. Various food formulations like soups, gravies, salad dressings, sauces and toppings use hydrocolloids as additives to attain the desired viscosity and mouthfeel. Starch for instance is a typical hydrocolloid used for thickening, while all all hydrocolloids thicken and impart stickiness to aqueous dispersions. A few biopolymers also have another major property of being able to form gels. Gel formation is the phenomenon involving the association or cross-linking of the polymer chains to form a three-dimensional network that traps or immobilizes the water within it to form a rigid structure that is resistant to flow. In other words, it becomes viscoelastic exhibiting both characteristics of a liquid and a solid. Apart from food formulations, manufacturers have widely used cellulose as a hydrocolloid for edible packaging systems. The solubility of this material can be increased by treating cellulose with alkali in order to weld the final structure. The resulting films have suitable characteristics, odorless, tasteless, flexible, transparent, resistant to oils and fats, water-soluble, and with moderate moisture and oxygen barrier properties. Another example of an edible hydrocolloid is chitin, a natural biopolymer found in fungal cell walls and in the exoskeleton of crustaceans. Catosan, 
obtained by deacetylation with alkali of chitin, has the ability to form semi-permeable coatings that can modify the internal atmosphere of the package, delaying ripening and decreasing respiration rates in produce. These films are clear, flexible, and good oxygen barriers. See you in our next video. I would thank you for helping to share your love for this science channel by clicking the like button and subscribe for future updates. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please smash the like button and subscribe to this channel for future updates.